good morning happy friday and it's a good blustery one this morning we've got some lovely storms coming in from the atlantic so hopefully i've got a nice little bit of a window but friday ascension update how's your week been everybody it's um again energy's getting very very lively out there and um I'm going to be kind of expanding a little bit more on the, the the kind of the subject matter that I was covering previously, which looks at <clears throat> division within our ranks, but also what we're going to be presented with. Now, the theme of the morning, this morning, and probably for the next few months or so, is buckle up, okay? Now, I mean buckle up from a heart-centred perspective, but as we've been kind of expecting, things are beginning to ramp up energetically, but they're also beginning to become increasingly pressurised from the, the, the kind of the uh, 3D, 5D perspective. Now, within our communities like the 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 light work community there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of divisive information as i said in the previous video where we feel incredibly strongly about what is going on what we're being presented with presented with what people around us are doing whether they're actually seeing or not and if they're not seeing, why aren't they seeing? It's, it just seems to be that quite a lot of us, we know what we know and we know it in our hearts. But there is also a... We're being asked to trust. For, for want of a better word, if you cut all, if you cut all of the other, the, the other information out of the situation, it simply boils down to trust. Now, is this blind trust? Or is it trust because we are asserted in our roles and we know where, where we're going on this ascension process and we know what we've got to achieve? Now, faith in the divine or trust, trust in the universe, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a big one considering what we're facing here on the planet at the moment. If you, if you look at it on a practical level, everything seems to be heading towards this kind of dystopian future you know rather than the 5d utopia that we've all we've all been kind of focusing and aiming for but if i could, if i break it down i've done this quite a few times before but for those of you that aren't aren't uh, might might be new to the the information that i'm presenting we are slap bang in the middle of a 20-year transitional period that transitional period begun on the 21st of December 2012 and it ends on the winter solstice in 2032. Now, and here comes the wind and the rain. Now, during this, this brief period of time, we are completely changing the consciousness of the vibration and the society that we live in. We're halfway through it at the moment. We are at the the messiest, the most, the, the craziest part of the equation, the whole thing that is going on. Now, by buckle up, I mean be prepared for an increase from the 3D, the, the 3D matrix to contain what is falling apart, okay? And it, it you know, we, we know it's falling apart, even if we might not be able to grasp tangibly the results that we want to see. We know if we check with our heart centres, which is something which is a very, very powerful thing to do. You know, if you, if you got five minutes later on today or now even, place your hand on your heart, close your eyes, tune into your heart centre, raise your frequency to, you know, or to an angelic level, upper, upper fifth dimensional frequency, bring the light in and ask your heart, are you on the right pathway? Are you on a planet that is ascending or moving into a state of chaos? Which doorway have you walked through? Where have you decided to focus your attention? What 
is your mission on this planet? Is it to stay in a third dimensional matrix, locked in with all of these people around you that can't see? Or are you taking it with you and bringing these people into the light, this consciousness into the light, and elevating the entire structure of the planet and society around you? Just ask, ask yourself for a minute, what is it here that you are actually here to do? And then when you've kind of got the response, when you've got the answer from your heart center, sometimes it might take a little while, just kind of tuning into the heart, receiving the answer because it'll often come through in a way that is intuitive or not all of us hear voices in our heads i certainly don't i, I completely run on on intuition signs and symbols from the universe and most of all a kind of a knowing a deep knowing of what i'm supposed to be doing whether an inf whether information is correct for me or not so just check where you are on your pathway at the moment you know are, are you are you keyed into the correct pathway for your future where has your attention gone and where is it focused on at the moment because this is very important because what we are at this at this kind of like this mid this midway marker this mid this this halfway through point the the distractions that we are being presented with are actually very powerful and they're being and the distractions are there for a reason all of this fear all of this kind of like the, this potential dystopian captivity or like overbearing authority all of the things that we can see being rolled out it's in the news it's in the media your friends are talking about it your family are participating in it all of these things that might be weighing heavily on your soul at the moment are, from a higher perspective, they are nothing but a distraction. They are a blip in the forward moving progress of where we are going. But once you're caught in that distraction, once your energy has moved in that direction, once you have taken that into your bodies and your fields and you are wearing it, you are wearing that energy, that that is that is when it becomes something that you're going to have to work harder to navigate your way back out of again so knowing this okay knowing this the 3d matrix and those that have been controlling the 3d matrix are turning they're turning it up okay all around us the souls that have been controlling are our previous reality have realized that the, the 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 game is up okay there is like i said in my previous video the the transition of this of the fifth dimensional reality moving from 3d to 5d on this planet is a done deal it's a signed contract it was planned and orchestrated and organized a long time ago before even the establishment and the and the and the raising of the first part of the Atlantean experiment. It's all been synchronized to work to a time frame. And our time frame affects other time frames that are going on around us in, the, in, in our universe. So we step up, lots of other aspects step up at the same time. So this kind of school, this, this, this captured matrix, this reality that we were part and participating in willingly for 10,000 years is very very keen on maintaining its structure the more souls and more energy that it has added to it the more powerful it is and at the moment every minute of every every day on this on this world people are choosing to leave it they're migrating out first of all it's a conscious spark then it's an activation of the heart center then the ego basically disengages and the soul moves forwards okay and in order to maintain as much uh, um, a much of the control in that previous reality the only the, uh, the the only way that it can actually continue to hold on to people is by distracting them and filling them with fear have a look at what is going on around you in the new, in the circus of the media 
politics, everything that's going on around the world at the moment. And you will see it is simply an, an incre a, a very, very well organised and incredibly kind of, it's been very well executed effort to keep people in a state of fear. Once somebody is disengaged from their heart, once they're using their ego, they're fear-based, they are very easy to control, okay? It's, it's almost a mass hypnosis, okay? I, I, use that, I use this terminology sort of a little bit later on uh, in, in the year last year about it's a spell and we've broken the spell or we're breaking the spell but there's lots of different parts and facets to this spell that can drag people back in again. And so buckle up because that, that matrix, that spell is going to, it's going to base, it's, it's going to regenerate and try and distract and pull back in by different methods. The media will increase its attempts to draw you in to be fear-based, to tell you that there's no hope, to tell you that there is, you know, comply because this is the future, when in actual fact, no, it isn't, not in any way, shape or form. Once somebody has disengaged from that reality, once they're standing in their own sovereignty, game's up, game's over. But it's very easy to get sucked back in again. And once you're in there for a little while, that adds to a pool of collective thought. Between now and August will be probably one of the most intensive times that you have experienced. Okay, now we've had some intensive times on this planet already. There's been, you know, those of us that have been through one dark night of soul, multiple dark nights of the soul, you, you, you'll know what intensive is. And sometimes it seems like they, it's just repeating itself continuously. When's the cycle going to break? The cycle breaks when we learn our lessons at the end of the day. That's why many of us go through repetitive situations that don't seem to actually have any, they don't seem to have any kind of learning value. They've, they've almost what I've described as exceeded their creative potential. The reason why we go through those again and again and again is because obviously the penny hasn't dropped in the universe's eyes to the degree where we have moved fully forwards. We're very tr well trained to deal with all of this. Uh, we're very well trained to be here where we are on this planet at the moment. We're all masters in human form in various different ways or, or stages of remembering that. So we are pushed or rather unceremoniously booted up by the backside by the universe until we've remembered. Once we've remembered, once we've reclaimed our sovereignty and we're anchored in that light, forward we move and that and, and we don't look back one of the easiest ways to distract and to pull us back in again into that old matrix that old kind of that that paradigm of fear that we that that, that is very readily accessible still is to maybe aim for those around us that are, are are kind of a little bit more vulnerable than we are at the moment say for the sake of example you may know somebody who's going through some transitions themselves you might know somebody who's who's recovering from an illness quite often the the distraction matrix will go for for you know not necessarily the weakest link but somebody who needs to be kind of cocooned in light and more protected at the moment so that's another way of knocking us and keeping us off balance so once again it goes full circle back to us we are responsible for holding the light as high and as bright and as clear as possible remaining completely undistracted difficult uh, you know again it's um it's not me saying well i stay undistracted every day seven days a week so don't i'm i'm i am quite <laughs> i'm easily distractible and when, when I do, so it, you've got to scrabble your way back in, in, into, into centre point again. It's, it's persistence and it's communication and it's also collab collaboration with each other, working together, supporting each other, being here to catch or fill a space when somebody else steps back. 
because they need to, because they need to regenerate their energy or they've taken a hit. Now, completely on, 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 the, on the same kind of subject, but on a different tangent, Diana Cooper and I ran a Zoom a, 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 a couple of weeks ago. We are working with the Councils of Light and one of the discussions that we had within the hour was where all of us have incarnated from. Now, you may immediately associate your, your previous memory, the last memory that you had before incarnating on Earth, as being your source of soul origin. In some cases it might be, but in many cases, if we feel particularly drawn to somewhere like, say, the Pleiades or Sirius, or Andromeda or Orion, it could be that we stepped down through that particular portal before incarnating on this earth. Now me, me particularly, I went through something called destroyer training on Venus. Now when I was first given this information I was, I was like a little bit curious about it because to me Venus has always been associated with the portal of the cosmic heart, Commander Ashtar high frequency love and light. What, what, what on earth would that have to do with destroyer training? And Commander Ashtar explained to me that destroyer training is very specific for planet Earth. It's for people who are working with the potential to have a, a lot of energy thrown at them that might not necessarily be positive or nice. It means working through the mud. It means basically cutting your way through the, through the energy jungle so that you can stand there in your light. Now a lot of you will have done this, this might, this might resonate or it might ring true to you that you will have trained in whatever you are doing very specifically before coming down to Earth. So the last thing that I did <coughs> before I stepped down through Venus was go undergo something called destroyer training which gave me the capacity to deal with energies that are around me that are dense of a low frequency beings of a low vibration and it's very rigorous it's very thorough and having heard a lot of conversations and, and had some personal questions to me recently it would I think it would benefit a lot of you out there if you're listening to this and you think oh I, I like, like the sound of that is to in meditation have a, have a conversation or just call to Commander Ashtar and ask him <clears throat> if you could sign up for what he's calling almost like a crash course or an intensive course to go there in your sleep at night time and receive kind of what we'd call like the bare minimum of destroyer, tra <laughs> destroyer training if you haven't done it already. It sounds negative on the outside but it's not. It just gives you the ability to alchemize and work through energies that are very dense and we're surrounded by them at the moment okay we've got this <clears throat> huge mix of 3d 5d energy which we're working to clear so the more equipped that you are to deal with this the more equipped you are to deal with what is being thrown at you which believe me once you've raised your head above the parapet it's 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 like target shooting a little bit and that's just another test from the universe. So on Monday, I'm going to run through a meditation and it will be the Meditation Monday to bring people into a situation where they can talk to, where you can talk to Commander Ashtar. And if you want to undergo, undergo this training, he will very happily <coughs> sign a proportion of you up or whoever wants to go through it. And the other one is, Another one which is really useful for those of you that feel like you are under attack at the moment, feel like you're under pressure, call to the legions of Anubis. Now Anubis it was the keeper of secrets in Atlantean times. He's, it was a very good friend of mine back in, back in the day when we were in Atlantis and, and in Egypt. And one of the first things that was given to me was a sentinel. Now a sentinel uh, this is in one of my previous videos, if you kind of go back a little bit earlier into, into the year or maybe at the end of last year. The Sentinels of Anubis, when called upon, are allocated one to each light work or maybe two, depending on the gravity of your job, and will be there to 
protect or basically fortify your fields against the energies that you can't alchemize that you are maybe you may be too busy or you're distracted or you've been taken you've been taken not not out of commission a little bit it's at those points that we do need the additional help at the moment the first and foremost the most effective way to ever protect yourself is to hold your light high bright and clear at all times shining radiance from your heart and alchemizing everyone and everything around you but we can't always be in that state especially while things are so intense at the moment we do need to step back sometimes we do need to take <clears throat> a bit of time out occasionally so it all kind of hinges very much on working with the higher you know working with the spiritual realms to support us working with each other to support us at the moment but also just be very aware of how intense this could possibly get on a distraction level on and by that i mean when you are presented with information that rattles your cage when you are potentially given something that frightens you makes you question your reality you will be presented with this stuff okay it is going to get a little bit funky <laughs> but we're here for each other and we are we're here to guide we're here to lead we're here to teach we are here to step this entire planet into the golden age of Aquarius the future vibration for which we're working so hard for so keep your light high your frequency clear and your manifestation sharp on Monday I will be back to run through meditation Monday just working with Commander Ashtar calling that energy in and and basically undergoing whatever method of training that you want you if you wish to do this is like sign up go there at night time undergo the training come back feeling a little bit better equipped to deal with what we've got going on at the moment so i hope that's of interest to you i hope you all have a beautiful end of the week and on monday night i'm doing a facebook live the event is free with jackie white with pam and sue stone okay and the information is it's on my web, it's on my website it's also on the facebook no it's not on the website it's on the, my facebook page and on first on wednesday the 26th on the supermoon which we've got coming up no less i'm running a workshop this first time that i've had the honor of working with her yasmin ibrahim and we're going to be work and we're going to be looking at the best ways to stay balanced in this changing world our own personal stories what we what we've been through what we've kind of experienced and best ways to navigate it so i'll put the links up in in the in the text for this video and i hope you all have a lovely end to the week all right bye for now lots of love <laughs>